Here we are looking at an early build of the EcoMove software. EcoMove is a model of a pond ecosystem, including the plant and animal species that populate the pond. The camera tool lets us take pictures of the plants and animals we find, like these ducks. MOVE stands for Multi-User Virtual Environment. Students work in teams to explore the pond together. Here is the avatar, the virtual representation of one of my teammates. We can use chat to talk to each other. My teammate says that there are fish under the water. Let's go see. We can explore the environment around the pond and see all the different plants and animals, like this fox or this tree. The notebook tool lets us see what organisms we have found so far and find out more information about them. The move contains simulated virtual people that the students can talk to. Here's one. She's a bird watcher at the pond. The calendar tool lets students visit on multiple days. Now we're at a different day. The sky is cloudy and things seem different. The bird watcher is here again. If I talk to her, she has something new to say. She says the pond looks greenish. Let's look at the pond. It does look greenish. Students will discover that this is an algae bloom caused by runoff of fertilizers from a nearby development. In the full program, students will be able to use a variety of tools to explore the ecosystem, collect data, and analyze their findings. The food web tool allows us to organize the species we have collected and put them together into a food web. We can draw arrows to show the energy relationships between the organisms. The submarine tool allows us to see the microscopic organisms that live within the pond. A camera tool lets us take pictures of these organisms as well. In the full program, students will also be able to collect data on temperature, turbidity, dissolved oxygen, pH, nitrates, and phosphates, and use tools designed to support an understanding of causal patterns. Here's the drainage pipe showing where the runoff enters the pond. Beyond that, we can see the housing development whose fertilizers have affected the pond ecosystem. Through an exploration of the pond scenario within this immersive simulated environment, we expect that students will develop a richer understanding of complex causal relationships in ecosystems.